students we're going to discuss writing skills and grammar today and as you people are aware of uh, for your term 2 what writing skills we have to focus on one is data interpretation second is letter writing and what kind of letters we draw inquiry and placing an order okay yes so letter of inquiry it uh, could be regarding a course it could be regarding uh, some facilities you want you going on a holiday you making inquiries about that right inquiry before placing an order so all those things you need to be aware of okay so all of you take out your notebooks please i assume you have your notebooks here because you're not showing me your notebooks can i see your notebooks can i see that you're writing yes no ma'am that's top secret we don't want to show it okay so hoping that, that you are writing and you are not just uh, sitting uh, lazily in your uh, blankets and on your bed so just uh, get out and do some work okay yes okay right so i am getting a big thumbs up from many of you that means yeah you are really doing your work okay so please look at the screen here look at the screen last term we had done letter to editor highlighting issues and all so this time we don't have that question so the terms have been bifurcated right now first question all of you please look at this question you are nidhi das anandan das science teacher of arise academy 432 defense colony amritsar your school has been invited to participate in the interstate exhibition at bloom public school 785 najafgarh amritsar write a letter of inquiry to the coordinator of bloom public school inquiring about the details of the exhibition look at the question once again please look at the question what do you have to do you have to write a letter of inquiry to the coordinator inquiring about the details of the exhibition who are you you are the science teacher and you have been invited to participate in the interstate science exhibition now do you remember what is the format of a formal letter yes have you read the question do you remember the format of the question another letter yes okay now let me look at the screen once again i'll be sharing the question and we will be writing the letter okay i will be discussing the letter you'll get an idea it is this subject in the end yes so here our letter is a letter of inquiry okay you have to participate in this inter state exhibit interstate science exhibition right so you have to make queries what is your format of the letter yeah what is the format what comes first the sender's address who is the sender you are the sender you will be the arise academy 432 defense colony that would be the sender's address please put all the things in the correct order then we write date then is the receiver given or not can you write this down yes any doubts Enough, but I expect you here. You are quite big enough and aware enough. You will be able to write on your own, isn't it? Yes. So here we have sender. Who is the sender? Who is the sender? The teacher, the science teacher. Who is the receiver? The coordinator. Okay. But yes, you will be writing to Bloom Public School, Amritsar. You're writing from Arise. Academy, Amritsar, right? With the complete address, write it down. Next comes your subject. Yes, subject here is the address. Say you can write. What is the designation given? Okay, the coordinator. You will be talking to the coordinator. Or you can write it over here in the subject. Okay. So one way, if it is given, you have. You should you have to mention that over here? Okay, right. Now, what is the subject? Right. So, inquiry about science. Okay. 
You have to participate with it. What are the things you want to know? What is your sanitation here? So you can be here, sir or madam. Right? What are the things we are going to write in the letter? What are the things we're going to write in the letter? Yes, yeah, so inquiring about science exhibition. Let us be specific, right? So your inquiry about the science exhibition. How do we write the letter? What are the things that we have to remember first? What are the things that we have to remember? Yes. What are the things you have to remember? First of all, you're going to give your introduction. Yes. Oh no, give your introduction that I of uh, Arise uh, Public School or Arise Academy and a school has been invited to participate in the science exhibition. Right? What are the things you would like to know about the science exhibition? What do you think would be there in the science exhibition? Yes? If you have to think about as a science teacher, you have to participate in the science exhibition. What kind of an exhibition would it be? Exhibition of models, right? Isn't it? Right, that exhibition would be, yes, about models. You can also ask, if it is an exhibition, is there any topic, theme for the exhibition? Right? Yes, it, it could be about, uh, a, a of science, it could be about artificial intelligence, it could be about, uh, water uh, harvesting, right? It, it, it could be about uh, some different form of uh, cultivation or something like that, isn't it, right? For your science, you have so many things about, uh, you, you know better about electricity or any other work related project, things like that, isn't it, right? So what could be the topic or the theme of the exhibition? Yes, here? Yeah? Yes. So first of all, let us ask about the topic, the theme, and let in this you can ask the number of entries, how many models can you take part in, or you know, like you can make. And of course, is there some category for the classes? Is it okay, or for from six to twelve? Is it the same category, or is it say from one is there for uh, six to? 10th, there's another one for 11 to 12th, or is it from 10th to 12th, whatever, the category of the participation of the exhibition. Yes, then, you're right, yeah. And of course, what kind of, uh, what is the last date of uh, submission? Is there any entry fee? What kind of uh, particulars do you need? participate, what all you have to send, right? So where, where do you have to do the registration? Where do I send my entry? Isn't it? Right? So yes, it is about your participating in the science exhibition. You can ask what is the topic of the exhibition? Is it there, you know, like a, can, what kind of models are we supposed to make? Working models, still model, isn't it? Right? You can ask that also. Then, what is the duration of the exhibition? Yes, I'm quickly I'm getting nine good responses also. Yeah. Yes, so it is there. Of course it is there. How many students can participate? Naturally, it's an exhibition. It is not going to be a one person can do that. So it would be a group of students participating. What is the maximum number of students you can take for one model? There would be one person presenting the model, talking about it. There would be other students who would be taking care of the model and also a cat and like two students and three students four students how many right so what all what is the duration of the exhibition how many days is it going to be one day only two day only isn't it and what about the different levels which level of participation is this and what about the next one right so you do talk about all these things so can you write this kind of thing and, uh, this Yes, and then, so you're going to make separate paragraphs. When you write the inquiries, you will, you, you, can, you will write them in the form of a question. Right? So make separate paragraphs here. You're inquiring about this, uh, this thing, you get introduction, 
the time the science teacher of the school had to call the science exhibition. Um, but like when I have a few inquiries or I have a few queries regarding the exhibition. So I would be thankful if you would tell me about the theme or the topic of the exhibition, right? And yes, how many students can participate and how many entries the school can send. Right? Then, of course, as we have discussed, all these things you can. In the end, yes, it's hoping that you will send uh, the reply at the earliest. Right? Then, of course, yours truly, write down your name and your designation. Okay? Right? Is this clear to all of you? Is this clear? So, when we write a letter of inquiry, these are the things we have to talk about. You have to write questions related to the topic you want to ask about. So it's a simple thing as talking about a science exhibition, but you have to be really aware of, right? If you have the participant in exhibitions, and exhibitions are there in our schools and other schools, you participate and you know what can be done, isn't it? Right? So here. Yes, so can you write this letter? Can you write this letter just to practice writing down? Yeah, so we need a sample of each kind of letter in your notebooks. Okay, I'll give you a sample answer also. I'll, I'll share the sample answer also. But I, I think so we can write this letter or not? Yes or no? We can write this letter and we have to write because this time it is a subjective exam and you people here, please put your handwriting, practice handwriting. Right? So you have to make efforts to make sure that your handwriting is good, your answers are good. Elaborate. Early you got the options, right? So you want to ask uh, what can be in the opening paragraph, what can be in the concluding paragraph, so those kind of you know, objective questions you had, but now you have to think about them yourself, right? So, you, of course, you had those hints now, but now you have to come up with the ideas yourself. Now, similarly, supposing this is a science exhibition, these are the queries, right? We know for science exhibition, what do you make for science exhibitions? You make models, right? Yes, okay. Right? If you, you make charts also. You, you can make your presentations also, right? So you have a paper presentation on a topic, right? In that. Or what is it that you want the science exhibition to be about? So when there's a science exhibition, you have your models also, the models can be working, you can be a still models also. There's a topic. So think of relevant topics here. What could be the science topics that are relevant? You have done a few topics in your uh, science classes also. You can use those ideas, isn't it? Right? Then, of course, you know that an exhibition, yes, it will be at least two days uh, minimum. One day, yeah, you have everybody exhibiting. Second day, the results will be announced. Right? So, of course, so the judges will also take time. And uh, yes, uh, if you go through all the exhibits which are there, and it is there to move on to the next level, right? So how many entries are there? How many people can participate? Fine. Yes, uh, I will be, but I, I think so people can write this letter. Can you write this letter? Yes or no? What other writing skills have I given you? I have given writing skills for data interpretation also. I have discussed in these questions which are given here, two pie charts are given here, which we will be discussing also here in the class. So you have a practice of your writing skills. Any doubts, any questions? Can I see writing? Yes, so please help me remember. I have told you I told you to answer the letter, how do I?
Yes, here, all of you, please look, right? Your salutation, my to address, right? Now, here, even the address, so you go to see the receiver's address, it has been mentioned the coordinator. So, you can write down coordinator over there, right? Because we will not address anybody as Mr. Coordinator. No, it is not nice, you know, dear coordinator. Okay, so over here, who is the letter addressed to? It will be over there. So, here, your salutation will be sir slash madam. Okay. Now here when I start here, give your introduction. I'm just writing it down so you get an idea of what the letter has to be in the introduction. In, in the introduction, you talk about the purpose of writing the letter. Okay, right? Then you can make a separate paragraph. You should make a separate paragraph asking for information. We are talking about the exhibition. You want to know here about the participation, right? About the number of students, about uh, the category of uh, the students here, how many can participate, okay? Right? Then we will talk about what? About the topic or the theme. Okay? Yes, you can discuss about what is the duration of the exhibition. How do I register? What is the last date for sending your entries? For sending your registrations. Can you see the blackboard? Please note down those points. So, letter writing here. Yes, I am giving you some idea how to write the letter. So, please note it down. Okay, right? So, you, you can make separate paragraphs for this. Is this there? Okay, anything else is there left to ask about the exhibition? Is there anything left to ask about the exhibition? Right, so that's it here. Okay, so you've asked about uh, the students' participation. You've asked about what is the topic of the theme, what kind of models you have to make, how many you can make, how many students can participate, how many teams can participate. Right, then what is the way to register, where do you have to register, and what is the last date of registration? Okay, right, and actually here the coordinator is given. The from the letter is from the coordinator, so you will be corresponding with the coordinator for any other queries for any other source of information. Is it clear? Yes. Now here it is once again you will just wind up with the letter that yes, you want an early response. And then you sign up as yours to me. So here it is there, the name is given, write down the name and the designation, okay, fine. Now this was the letter to participate in the earth science exhibition. Now supposing if you wanted to make inquiries, right, let's say you want to host a party for your grandparents, right, and uh, you're celebrating maybe your grandfather's uh, 75th uh, birthday or uh, some other uh, special occasion, anything. So you want to make inquiries from a catering themselves. Right? What the questions would you ask? Let us see here. Let's just, you know, like, let me get some kind of response from you also. Let uh, people should know. From a catering service, you want to organize a party, right? Uh, so it's roughly around 100 people, right? Very close gathering, just uh, so you have 100 people there and you want to organize this. You want to uh, talk to the catering service here. What kind of queries would you do for catering service? You want to organize and get together. What would you ask? You, you know, first you have to give your introduction. Right? You know that you would be there. Yes? So first of all, whenever we talk about catering here, let us talk a 
about the day. This is when you want this to happen. Yeah, right. Yes. So you will talk about the date when you want to organize it. Is the menu available? In, or you know, is the catering service available? Right? Then, yes, you will ask about, right? Yeah, what kind of food? Okay, right? So, yes, we want a, a get together with organizing uh, and uh, yes, what is the cost? Right? What are the varieties that they have? What is your option here? About you want your snacks or right here, your meal and your drinks, uh, your uh, what are the drinks and your dessert and all everything here. So you can ask about what is it the cost per plate. Okay? Yes, so we will give it a variety. So how much are you going to give, right? Then what else you want that catering to be done? You're going to ask about uh, what about uh, the crockery and everything. We are talking about the cost per plate. Let's talk about the plates also. You can talk about the crockery. You want it to be in a nice, good condition, isn't it? Right? So no chipped or broken ones and all that. And because we are here in the middle of, uh, you can see a difficult uh, situation right now. So we want what? At most, cleanliness, right? We want sanitation and hygiene, isn't it? And of course, we would also want to know about the workers and the working condition, isn't it? Right? So all this here. So whenever we are talking about such a kind of a inquiry, you are asking for the catering service. So please, first of all, yes. It, will this service be available on this date? We want to cater to the number of people, right? The number of people here, maybe you are inviting, isn't it? Yes, so the workers, they will bring, but you must make sure that yes, right? Uh, are your workers vaccinated? Are you following proper, you know, like what, uh, you can say cleanliness measures and uh, your, uh, what you can say, uh, hygiene, all that, which is very, very important, isn't it? Yes, you can specify here, you can talk about your snacks and your meat, your salad and your dessert, what all is it there? And how many people you want taken care of? And the number of waiters that you require. So, if you have 100 people, so you want at least, yes, you should have uh, at least uh, 8 to 10 people there. You should be taking care and uh, making sure that the food it should be served, the snacks should be served. Isn't it? Right? So, if it is only for catering service, if you're asking for the venue also, you want to book a place, you want to book a hall, you want to book a venue for that. Then, yes, once again, you can ask all these things. What is about the venue, the cleanliness here, about the heating system, about the electricity, about the decoration, right? Yes, so all of that you have to ask about, okay? Thing is, you should know what is it, what is it that you are asking about? And make a list of four or five things that you would like to know. Frame them in the form of questions. And simple as that. Your letter of inquiry is done. Right? So you should be aware of what question I will ask for what product or what service. Is it clear? So if you have these things in your mind, then you're writing a letter is going to be very, very easy. Okay, but yeah, you need a little bit of practice. You have to come back into that writing mode. Because you've been so used to objective questions that we need to learn to practice. Okay, so make sure that you are doing these questions in your notebook. So the first question which I gave you about the exhibition, I want it to be done in your notebook. Okay, so never mind, whatever the way you're able to write it down, let's do it. Write it down. And I think so you people are capable of writing. Will you be able to do it? Yes or no? Yes, ma'am, we'll do it. We don't have any doubts, okay? Right. 